guys, and here. Uh, this video actually came by a request um, from somebody saying, you know, quite often they hear their mates saying, oh no, I lost my phone, or my phone was stolen, all my photos are gone. And there really is no excuse for that in this day and age. There's so many apps that will back up your photos for you, most of them for free. Um, there's no excuse for, for not doing it. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you how simple it is. Um, one popular one that was, I think probably the first one that I used were, is um, Dropbox. But then I've moved on to Google Photos recently. It's just a lot simpler in some ways. So we open up the Google Photos app and already I can see photos there that I took on a different device yesterday at Comic Con on the Xiaomi Mi A1. Um, they're actually there because I made an album. We'll come to that in a second. So at the moment, you might see in the corner there the little cloud with a line through. That's saying it's not being backed up. So I'm going to go into settings. You see there, backup and sync is off. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to turn it on. And it says, okay, what account are you going to back them up to? Use my main account. We get a few different uh, options. So we can specify which folders it's going to back up because you don't necessarily want all of them. Like screenshots, for example, there. I've, I've not bothered backing them up, but some people might want to. Um, so you, you can choose which folders you want it to back up. Then you can choose if you, if you what it should do on the mobile data. So I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment. It'll back everything up on Wi-Fi, video, photos, everything. So even when I'm on mobile, actually, a lot of the time, yeah, I'll have photos. That's only a few meg each time. And you might even want to back videos up. That's your safest way. You, you're almost never going to be able to miss anything in that case. If you've not got a massive data plan, you might not want to bother doing that. Um, back up and so I wanted to bother about that. Come back out. Um, I think that's all you really need. So, oh yeah, so you can have it so they show in Google Drive as well. If you use Google Drive much, you'll make a new folder saying photos and they'll all be in there. Um, let's come back out to the actual app. So I'm going to take a photo, you see there now, backup complete. You see it with a tick in the cloud. Now I'm going to come out and I'm going to launch my camera. And I'm going to take a picture of the cap. Now I'm going to grant you actually on Dropbox, it's going to upload and update that a lot quicker. I'll get a notification on my computer saying there's a new file added. Um, and quite often Google Photos isn't as quick, but it looks like it's done that already. If we go to Assistant, yep, so if I still, and maybe I should have shown you that <laughs> faster, it would say on Assistant, at the bottom left there, um, like one photo uploading, but already I think that has uploaded. So now I'm gonna swap over to the desktop. So I'm just here on Google, I've logged in as me. I'm gonna click on the drop you down bit and I'm gonna click on Photos. And we'll see if it really did. No, so it's not fully up. In fact, if we come back to the phone look now, you see that one with the thing? So that's uploading from the phone at the moment. So we'll see it on the, if, if maybe if we go back to Assistant now. Oh no, it's still, still says backing up. Almost there, you see the, the there we go, backup complete. And then any time soon, I'll try reloading the page. I don't know if it'll be instant or not. There we go. There is my pick of the cap. Now you get some different options when you're in the browser. I mean, you can. I think you can do these in the phone. You can. You can jazz them up a bit. You can undo the edits. There's all sorts of bits and pieces. You can crop it. Let's just click done for the minute. If you want, you can download from there. So, and if you've done edits, it gives you the option of download with the edits or just download the original. Um, you can also upload, so if you've taken things on, I don't know, like a DSLR, you can choose wherever the photo is and upload it directly from there. If you upload a bunch of them, it gives you the option to add to an album and you can then say, well, no, create a new album, give the album a name. Um, if I click over two albums briefly, we should see, so yesterday, as I sort of mentioned, I was at Comic-Con, all these photos were taken on uh, DSLR, the Xiaomi Mi A1, and actually my Samsung Gear 360. Although when I was clicking this yesterday, it wouldn't load. I mean, I didn't wait very long, like I'm not going to bother now. Um, but that enables you to upload all different photos from different devices into one album. They are then available on the on the phone 
So we come back into the phone and we go to albums. You see there, Comic Con. You see there, the first one. Let's see if it works on the phone. Oh, couldn't be displayed. Maybe I've got an issue with the 360. Anyway, but as you can see, the same photos are available on the screen as on the phone. So as I said, it's really very simple. It's really very handy because also Google Google makes you little videos. I don't know if you saw in the assistant bit, it was trying to offer me um, an album that it had created called Monday Afternoon in London. That's when I went into London to look at the Pixel 2 XL. Uh, but it creates you little videos, plays music along with these videos. It's created really, very clever. Um, myself included, a lot of people really love that aspect that Google gives. Um, so as I said, very simple, really no excuse for not doing it. Please show your friends this video. Don't let them, oh, and it's also, you can do this on iOS. Um, obviously I do Android videos, but you can install Google Photos for iOS and I believe it, back, yeah, I, was, I know it does, it does it on my iPad. It's not my iPad, it's works iPad, but anyway. Uh, but it does it for there. So yeah, be your Android, be your iOS. Uh, it will back up, or Google will back up your photos for you. If you're on a Pixel, it stores all of them, highest quality for free up to 2020. Even after 2020, you don't lose those photos, but if you fill up your space, you would need to buy more. Um, but otherwise you can have, I forget exactly what the resolution is, it's like a 1600 by something, um, stored for free, unlimited. So I do know a lot of iOS people say they, they fill up their five gig very quickly and then it's quite expensive. Um, Google, they give you it for free and 1600 by whatever it is, is actually plenty for most people for web use. Um, and they do that for free, unlimited, forever. There's no excuse, there really is no excuse. Show your friends this video. Make sure you've set up your own backup. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.